Welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll learn how to use perspective tools in Morfolio Trace to create perfect perspectives. We'll go over setting your vanishing points using perspective settings, the different drawing modes with perspective tools, and learn how to create two and three point perspectives before seeing some amazing examples. Let's get started. And now what we're gonna focus on today is our perspective tool, which is located at this icon right up here. You'll see when you tap that, you're immediately brought into this area where you can set your vanishing points. So at the top, there's the option to set your vanishing point to a one point perspective, which means you have uh, one vanishing point, two point perspective, or a three point perspective. And we'll go over each of these um, and but we'll start with the one point perspective. So once you have it set here, you can move this around and you can see how my lines are all moving along with the vanishing point because they're all being directed right towards that single point. So I'm going to hit the green button here and you can see immediately that uh, I'm back in my drawing space that now I have these perspective settings that are pulled down here. And these are, are really powerful tools. So the first one at the very top is to set your vanishing points. And if you tap that, you'll be brought back to this screen where you can change your vanishing point, move it around, or you can change the amount of vanishing points that you have. We'll hit the green check to go back. Below that is the ability to turn off and on the grid. So you can see that when I tap that on and off, the grid, the perspective lines will be hidden or uh, be shown. So if you want to just freehand draw without that grid kind of being in your way, you can just turn that off. I like it on. The next thing you'll see is that there is a guide button uh, that you can turn on and off in here. And you can see that this little guide appears down here. When I tap that, it turns off. So uh, we'll get more into that, but that's a way to turn that off and on. And then the assist, the little magnet button at the bottom, allows you to either, uh, allows you your lines to automatically stick and be magnetized to the perspective grid. Or if we turn that off, you're able to draw freely um, without your lines being kind of automatically drawn to the vanishing point. So what we're gonna do is to start is to leave all of these on. And I am going to just kind of draw a really basic one point perspective here of a street. And you can see that as I draw with my guide on that I actually am drawing right along where I have set that guide. So that kind of acts as your, as your uh, finder there. And then we can draw our lines and you can see I'm just drawing these pretty sketchy. Uh, I have my pencil brush on, so I'm just drawing some basic lines to kind of set up the scene. And I'm gonna do the same on this side as well. And you can see that I'm moving my guide because I have it all turned on to help me draw exactly where I want to draw. And I'm gonna draw that line over there. And maybe actually I'm gonna undo those lines. I'm gonna pull this one back a little bit and I'm gonna draw it up here of give a little bit of balance to these sides. A lot of what I've learned about perspective drawing comes from the master of perspective drawing, David Drazil, who's a really great uh, designer and sketcher and has a lot of amazing tips for drawing perspectives. So now you can see I've changed my brush to this bright red and that just allows me to see the lines that I'm drawing. And so what I'm kind of doing is setting up a little bit of a streetscape here nothing too spectacular or fancy, but just to kind of get an idea of what this tool is capable of, especially when you have the guides on. And we'll finish up here. You can see I move the guide around and then I continue to draw my lines. And we'll wrap this up right here. Extend that line down a little bit more. Cool, so now you can see I have this pretty easy uh, one point perspective that I've, I've quickly sketched out, a little kind of streetscape of sorts. Mm -hmm. 
So now let's let's check out what happens when we turn off one of these things. So if we turn off the grid, you can see that I'm still able to draw with uh, the guide. And I can even draw off the guide if I want. Um, but it's a little bit easier with the, the guide. But here I can just do it without having those lines in the way. If I wanted to, I could also turn off uh, the guide as well. And so if I turn off the guide, notice that I still have assist on. So I'm still gonna be drawing in perspective, but now I no longer have that handy guide that's helping me draw the lines that I'm drawing. And if I turn off assist, um, but leave the guide on, what that allows me, I, I like this mode too, this allows me to draw some lines in perspective, but then I can go in and draw freehand. Maybe I wanna do a design, maybe I wanna add a note. Uh, check this out. Right, so I can do that freehand, uh, but then I can come back here and draw some straight lines with the perspective guide and bring them back into the perspective as well. So that's kind of a, a handy feature there. Uh, the other thing that I can do is I can turn my grid back on. So there's so many different combinations of turning the guide and the grid off and on with the assist button as well to uh, work in different modes depending on your favorite setup. If we wanted to, we could also check out a two-point perspective. Um, maybe draw a quick box here as well, just to get a sense of how the, the two-point perspective grid works. Um, again, if you're looking for a, a kind of perspective tutorial, I strongly recommend uh, going to check out David Drazil's page because he is full of, uh, his page is full of incredible tips for drawing perspectives uh, both accurately, quickly, and really beautifully. And also what's important to David is uh, that the balance and the perspective is, is really strong. So he's always talking about composition. He's always talking about your setting up your viewpoints and your horizon line to the, to the perfect way to capture the, the type of drawing that you want to capture and uh, doing that perfectly. So this perspective tool allows you to really quickly though, uh, draw a perspective without um, having to have too much background knowledge and you can kind of jump into it. And as you progress in your perspective knowledge, you can do more and more advanced things. And we'll just do a quick three point perspective as well, just to uh, show you what that's all about as well. Maybe you're doing a tower design and you wanna do a really tall three point perspective. Move our guide around here. Grab that line. We're gonna make a really tall tower here. Bring it all the way up to the top. And then in a second, what we're gonna do is look at some incredible, uh, some incredible examples from brilliant trace users who have used this tool to create some absolutely stunning drawings um, as kind of inspiration for what you can do with this tool. Um, and what's so amazing is that you don't have to be, you don't have to have the most amazing skill at drawing to use this tool. Um, I consider myself a, an average at best sketcher, but uh, with the perspective tool, you can really complete an incredibly uh, complex and, and difficult really perspective um, quite easily with this tool. So here again, we have the one point perspective, a little two point perspective. And notice the, the nice construction lines that you can do with trace with the pencil, mark it over with the, with the uh, pen with the technical pen to advance that a little bit. And again, the three point perspective here. So all super, super helpful and uh, really great tools to have in your toolkit.
So the first sketch that we'll look at here is by Joshua Gregg, who if you follow us, you'll know that we feature him quite a bit. He is just an incredibly talented architect. And again, if we turn on our perspective tool, you can see how he has used the tool to create this really amazing drawing here. Um, and a little trick that he does, um, which I'll, I'll give a little secret about what he does here, um, to create this really beautiful kind of glowing effect that you see, is if we, I'll, I'll just add a little something, I'll make a new layer so I'm not messing up his beautiful drawing. Um, but if I add a new layer here, and I pick a smaller line type, go here, and we'll just add a little box onto his drawing in a different color, that way we know the one that we added versus the one that he did here. So we'll add this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a new brush. I'm going to select uh, the highlighter brush here and I'm going to change the color to the same color that I used before. Diagram. And actually what I'm gonna do instead of the highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and use the China marker. But I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna bring back my perspective tool check my line weight. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger even over here. And then I'm going to drop the opacity pretty low. So what this is going to do is allow me to create a kind of soft glow. Maybe I did a little bit too much, but we'll just give it a few lines. Soft glow. I'm going to drop it down here. This kind of soft glow around my drawings, which then will make them appear to be glowing uh, in the light. So you can see how that kind of works, right? Um, and then you get this really cool effect where it looks like your lines are actually neon uh, and kind of glowing like that, which Joshua Gregg just does really, really beautifully. So that's a, a little extra tidbit trick there. Another example that we'll look at is by Alina Fokina, who is another fantastic architect who works uh, in Berlin. And you can see here, this is a one point perspective, right? So if we turn on our perspective guide, you'll see that we only have the one uh, vanishing point directed at the center of this drawing. And um, again, though, you can see how when we move the guide, all of the lines are perfectly aligned. The interior lines here are also perfectly aligned. So everything that she's drawn is perfectly aligned to the, the perspective, to the vanishing point, just by using this tool um, with, with the perspective tool. And the lines on the ground also all follow that perspective super cleanly. So what, a, what an awesome tool to be able to quickly and uh, precisely draw a perspective with, uh, with this assistance. And the last example that we're lo we'll look at is of course by David, um, who does a, a really beautiful job with perspectives always. Um, you can see some of his signature figures over here, but what's really cool is if we kind of peel back the drawing, we'll turn off some of the layers here we can see the bones of, of his drawing here. Uh, and this is kind of where the magic happens. So you can see if we turn on our perspective tool, he's kind of sketched out the, the, uh, the perspective, uh, the skeleton of the perspective, one could call it. And from here, he then builds up the sketch on top of it. So it's not that he's using the perspective to do the entire thing, but he's allowing this tool to guide him through the early stages of setting up the perspective. So everything is accurate and, and the structure of it is right. And then he goes ahead, turn off the perspective tool and start freehand sketching on top of it. And with every layer adding more and more detail until the drawing is complete, but he knows that the perspective is completely accurate because of the, the structure that he built the entire drawing with uh, at the very basis. So 
it's a, it's a really incredible tool to be able to kind of set up your perspective the way you want it and then build your drawing, whether it's using the perspective tool to the very end, like Alina did um, and like Joshua did, or if you use it just to kind of get the, the structure right of your drawing and then work out the details freehand but you uh, have the kind of comfort of knowing that your lines will all be precise, that your perspective is perfectly accurate, and that your drawing will read the way that it should read um, according to the rules of perspective. So uh, that's it. It's a, just a quick little uh, tidbit there. I hope this helps. I hope that it uh, allows you to create perspectives with a little bit more confidence, um, even if you're not the most uh, advanced sketcher, that this tool will allow you to do your thing. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.